बाली जी बॉटनी पार्ट वन चैप्टर वन बाली जी एंड इट्स मेजर फील्ड ऑफ स्पेशलाइजेशन लेक्चर बाय मिस्टर आमिर जरीन बाली जी बाली जी इज ए टर्म विच इज कंपोज ऑफ टू लेट इन वर्ड्स बायोस विच मीन्स लाइफ एंड लॉगोस विच मीन्स रीजनिंग और नॉलेज बालाजी इज डिफाइंड एज ब्रांच ऑफ साइंस विच डील्स विद द स्टडी ऑफ लिविंग थिंग्स और ब्रांच ऑफ साइंस विच डील्स विद द स्टडी ऑफ द लाइफ हु आर बायोलॉजिस्ट द एक्सपर्ट हु स्टडी लिविंग पार्ट ऑफ द नेचर दे स्टडी द नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स सराउंडिंग्स विच अफेक्ट द लिविंग थिंग्स दे स्टडी हाउ द लाइफ वर्कस what is life life is set of characters that distinguish living organisms from non living things or dead organisms characters of life living organisms are organized and complex bodies they are composed of single cell or more than one cell that is unicellular or multicellular they contain genetic material that is dna they can get and utilize energy they can carry out and control chemical reactions that is metabolism they can grow in size they can maintain homeostasis that is constant internal environment they can reproduce that is produce offspring of their own type they can respond to the changes in their environment branches of biology biology is divided into various branches some important branches are as follow morphology study of form and structure of living things with naked eye or with the help of microscope anatomy study of internal organs of dissected organism histology microscopic study of tissues of an organism cell biology or cytology study of structure and functioning of living cells physiology study of normal functioning of various parts of organisms paleontology study of fossils fossils are remains or impressions of living organisms preserved in the rocks paleontology has two branches paleobotany study of uh, plant fossils and paleozoology study of animal fossils genetics study of hereditary characters transmitted from parents to their offspring taxonomy deals with the naming and classification of organisms embryology study of development of an organism from zygote zygote is a fertilized egg evolution study of ancestral history of living organisms or study of process in which one kind of an organism give rise to another kind of organism with the passage of time zoo geography study of distribution of animals in nature or on earth there are some other important branches of biology which are as follow biotechnology environmental biology or ecology microbiology aquatic biology which includes marine and fresh water biology too. parasitology pathology molecular biology social biology human biology and this list can be extended
bio elements the elements which occur in a particular organism are called bio elements there are more than 92 natural elements and only 16 are used in forming the chemical compounds from which living organisms are made these 16 elements and a few others in an organism are the bio elements bio elements are of the two types number one major bio elements these are required in higher amount for example oxygen that is 65 percent carbon that is 18 percent hydrogen that is 10 percent nitrogen that is 3 percent calcium that is 2 percent and phosphorus that is 1 percent minor bio elements these are required in smaller amounts examples are about 1 percent all of the minor bio elements are included bio elements in human body in the human body six bio elements are 95 percent of the total mass these are called major elements other bio elements which are about one percent and are called as the minor and the trace elements major bio elements that is oxygen as already mentioned here that 65 percent hydrogen that is 10 percent calcium 2 percent carbon 18 percent nitrogen 3 percent and phosphorus 1 percent like this minor bioelements which are in trace form these are potassium 0.35 percent sulfur 0.25 percent chlorine 0.15 percent sodium 0.15 percent magnesium 0.05 percent iron 0.004 percent and total is 1 percent approximately trace by elements copper magnes manganese zinc and iodine are in traces which are found in the living organisms what are the properties of bioelements the bio elements have special properties which make them suitable for life these are present in all the organisms and number three the properties differ from those occurring in non-living world